this plant alone, I don't know about the rest of the plants, this plant alone, uh, you're right now sitting about uh, right around 400 associates, uh, welders, grinders, helpers, electricians, uh, general mechanics. Uh, we do everything from the vessels to the assembly piece, and right now we're getting about uh, close to anywhere between 60 and 70 units out a month. Um, but we also do the uh, the hydro blast and painting also here in this facility. Uh, so we're we're all the way from ground zero to the end product out of the door. Most of, most of our stuff here that you see now in the shop is uh, is custom built. Mm -hmm. So everything's different. Nothing's the same. Uh, so it takes quite a while to do. Uh, if we were to do it manually, it'd take quite a while. The, the shell layout we did manually. Uh, it uh, every we we started with just a plain pipe. Okay. Uh, we took the drawing, we laid it out with chalk lines, mm -hmm. okay? chalk lines, and then after we had all that, we, we stamped where we, we put a little a stamp in where we actually had to start to cut the towards the center of the cut, right? And then we did everything manually. Everything was a hand cut uh, process, right? Uh, when we got done with that, we had to grind it. Uh, so it took anywhere from the from the beginning of the layout to the end product, anywhere between three and four hours, depending on the size of the vessel, because we have. Uh, for, for every person that was laying out, we had another person that was grinding behind him. So you're looking at eight to 10 people uh, gift working on those, working on those vessels. When you do the when you do the manual cut, you know there's that error in there, and it's not always a perfect degree, right? Mm -hmm. Not a perfect bevel. So you had that play. You had a either a, you know you either had a really really small gap or a larger gap in your root opening. And when you have that larger gap, there's more room for error. Uh, now that you have a perfect cut every time at a certain degree, uh, you, your your room for error is gone. So you take the excuse away. And you you know you, you make a process that's repetitive every time that you cut the vessel. Uh, HGG as a whole, in my experience has been phenomenal to make the machine like you want it, right? So they were they were they were bending over backwards to make us happy with the machine because we're spending the money for it. We want to make a they want to make a good product, and you know and we want to be able to say, hey, absolutely go back to HGG and get something else, right? So as as that whole sales pitch, yeah, great, awesome. The machine overall, I couldn't be happier with. Uh, I know the operators here were worried about being able to run it because they're not, you know, they're not software guys, and the language barrier and, and everything that that goes into that. But they couldn't be happier with it as well because they see what it what it does for them. You know, when you're when you're taking a 15 pound grinder out of somebody's hand and you're putting them somewhere where they're more useful, uh, it's it's just wonderful. You know the trial and error of the machine. I mean, anytime you get something new, you're going to have some kind of issues before you get comfortable with it. Now, you know they can't they can't say a thing. It's you know it's clean cut. They don't have to grind the the welding, the fitting. The fitting is easy. You know you fit it in, you tack it, and then you do your first pass, and it's easy. Uh, so you you have zero complaints now. You know with uh, with the machine and the way it cuts, it's great. And plus, we wanted to see we we we've got some profiling machines at different companies here. Um, that will will pre-cut the shells for us, but they're they're not to the specs that we want. But we wanted to make sure that what we were buying was going to make us something that we didn't have to add additional work to. When you when you program that into the software, you're able to, to pull it up on the 3D diagram, right? So every time you program one in, you're able to see the vessel and how it's going to cut prior to you cutting it. Okay, that not that gives you that gives you another, an extra checkpoint, right? Because when you look at it originally on the screen and it's got the holes cut out and the, and the the layout exactly one inch, right? So you're you're taking away that human error factor. Uh, the grinding, the I could eliminate. So I reallocated those people. We didn't let anybody go. Uh, mm -hmm. So we were just reallocated manpower wherever we needed it, especially in the bottleneck area. So it gave me right off the bat, it gave me eight people. Uh, that I can move to a different location to help support bottleneck areas of the company to make us more efficient. You're able to move that labor and put more in the in the lines, and you're putting more welding guns in people's hands. That's what you want in this shop. You want welding guns in people's hands, and you want you want weld time. You want wire going in. You want you want to be welding and wire going into a vessel, sealing it up. That's how that's how we make our our money. We did we did a rough estimate, and within you know within three months we should have our payback on the on the machine. Uh, with the amount of labor that I've been able to, 
I, like I said, I haven't taken the labor away, but my uh, output and efficiency has almost tripled. <laughs> right? So, and we we set a new record last month with the amount of compression vessels that we had out of here. We, like I said before, 257 was our number. We had 368. Uh, it's a new record. Okay. Uh, there was eight to ten people in the process involved in laying out the shells. Now there's two that do the same job as eight to ten people did prior to the machine getting here.